ABC Sports College Football presents the Big Ten matchup between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Northwestern Wildcats. And here they are, the Northwestern Wildcats, the story of the year so far in college football. A collection of Walter Middies who have unsettled the norm in the Big Ten Conference. Their seats in Dyke Stadium with rumps in them for the first time in a dozen years. They're having so much fun. There was a sign last week that read, let's go back to losing. Parking was easier. As you look at the Big Ten Conference standings, that's not just a murmur. That's a full-blown fibrillation. But Northwestern is sitting right up there on top. And they're seven and one for the first time since 1936. Ohio State, of course, is right there with them. And those two do not play each other this year. And Northwestern's receivers are Adrian Autry and Josh Barnes, 32 and 17. And in case you haven't seen the new unis of Northwestern, they're black on top and purple on the bottom. And here we go with Autry. Adrian comes to the 25, out to the 26-yard line, and there, Steve Schnur. You see his numbers for the year. He's got only two interceptions. That's the best mark in the Big Ten in 1995. Though they are not considered a particularly effective passing team. But they can run it with Darnell Autry carrying the ball. He's gained 1,200 of the 1,421 total rushing yards. That's 84% of the yards gained by the Wildcats. And a whistle stops it. Dead ball. First start. Offense. Steve Pemmon is your referee it's today. Still. First down. The offensive front is anchored by Rob Johnson. He's a fifth-year senior center, recruited as a linebacker. He started 41 consecutive games at center. And Schnur rolls back, gets pressure, throws. It is incomplete, and you've got another penalty flag. Offside called against Penn State. Terry Killens uh, leading the down people for Penn State had a career weekend against Indiana last week. First down at the 27 now as Darnell Autry steps up for the ball and runs the ball across the 30 out to the 32-yard line. They are anchored. Uh, in fact, all four of these guys are pretty good. Kim Herring, the free safety. Kim is a junior out of Ohio. So second down for Northwestern and five give it back to Autry he shakes a tackler the first man to get his hands on him not offensively but defensively they lead the nation in takeaways. 29 percent however on third down conversions but they make that one look easy as Dwayne Bates they play on a rug here at Dyke Stadium and the temperature is in the middle 30s they claim Sure. This is Autry. Penalty flag. Somebody got a piece of a face mask. You got a holding call, Keith. Yeah. It's holding. I think you should away. They're on first and 20. Has time. Throws down the middle. The pass is complete all the way down to the Penn State 45 yard line. All right. Second down and five. The ball at the Penn State 45. This is Autry finding a hole, and he's got a first down at the Penn State 38. Oh, well, they've got their first down and moving the football against Penn State. This is Autry again. Contact is made by Todd Atkins at the line of scrimmage. They said the wind chill at O'Hare was one degree. The winter's bite has arrived along the lake. Sturz passes away, going deep into the corner, and it is incomplete, and you've got a penalty flag, and you've got a foul coming up. Autry is the single back. For the Wildcats. You outlasted, First down. You outlasted all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State's offense yet to see it. Here comes a fake reverse. Throw the ball to the big tight end, Drexler. Drexler is knocked out of bounds. Yep. Doesn't he? Yep. Northwestern threatening now. Stir rolls back, rolls again to the big tight end, Drexler. He shakes the tackle and slips down to the five yard line. the ball to Autry. Looks around and finds his way to two yards down to about the three. Second down and goal from the three then. This is play number 11 in the initial possession of the game. 
Hector finds it off and gives to Autry. And Autry is stacked up. Number 47, Gerald Filardi. And it is third down and goal for Northwestern. It's Autry again, bouncing outside. Touchdown. Two good blocks on that side. I tell you, just tough offense, tough running. Gets the touchdown early for Northwestern. Finally, Penn State's going to have a chance to see the football as Brian Goins kicks off. Bobby Ingram, Stephen Pitts back there, and this is Pitts to the outside. Stephen Pitts is a tailback. And there's a penalty flag in the wake of the play. Pushing the back against Penn State. So the Wally Richardson, number 14, the starting quarterback for Penn State, 6'4, 215, a junior out of Sumster, South Carolina. The backs and receivers include the likes of Bobby Ingram, the all time receiving leader at Penn State. He already owns eight school records. Now they bring Scott back to the same side as Ingram and run the ball with the big fullback John Whitman rumbling up to the 32-yard line. He had a big ball game in Iowa to get his season going and opened the year with a stress fracture in the foot, but he's finally healthy. Richardson has a lot of time, throws it very, very high, and Olsimer reaches up. The offensive front includes 300-pound Andre Johnson, a senior out of Southampton, New York. Marco Rivera, Barry Tilts is Star. He snapped the ball on every play, hasn't it? Now here come the two big guys. The elephant backfield on third down of the yard. Brian Milne checks in with John Whitman. And again, you got penalty flags. Dead ball. Delay of game. Offense. Burned the clock. Late getting the play in. Third and seven. He's now wide out. And he's also open for the first down. The defensive line and linebackers, we told you about Pat Fitzgerald, who leads the Packers in the Big Ten. And Matt Rice, number 95, is not too bad either. They hang in. They play well together. First down, Penn State, 36 now as Scott goes in motion. And Richardson back to throw to the sidelines. Throws it too hard and too high. Coming to second down and 10. The receivers on that far sideline, when they're looking back for the ball of the quarterback, are looking right back into a very, very bright sun. Eric Collier, number 33, is a record. They list him uh, as a defensive back, the strong safety, but he, in fact, plays a lot like a linebacker. They get third down and eight now for Penn State. Cats show blitz. They pick him up. Richardson's got all day to throw down the middle and throws a bad pass. Darrell Kenya is in the punt for the Lions. Gets it away. It's a low line drive. Brian Musso is back and takes it. And Musso returns it well to the 37. Harry Barnett's got him headed for bowl appearance number two. It's a good start for him today, too, against a, a team that uh, everybody thought they were going to go down to. This is Autry tucking away and being held just about. Second down and nine. Pull it. Jim Nelson. Got to catch him, though, when they're thrown like that. Oh, you. yeah. I mean, you've got to catch that ball. Schnurr is stumbling, loses. The ball falls down on it. And the Wildcats and their second possession. Gets it out. Takes a Penn State bounce and comes back up the field. And the Wildcats will kill it. At about the 38-yard line. Pitts and Whitman in the backfield now. Let's see if they can generate a little something. Wildcats handled them in their first possession. Here over the left side, there's some daylight for Whitman. The big fullback to the... And uh, that's the kind of kids that we have. And, you know, we're sort of playing that way. We've sort of... We, we, our defense and our offense is, is sort of custom rules. Nobody believes in what they can do, but he says there are no pressure on this team. That's a lateral pass, and it's handled out there by Bobby Ingram. Yeah, but if he's standing around for three quarters, eventually you're going to get whooped. <laughs> That's what they did in Seattle. 
Richardson rolling out, pulls it down and takes off. He had a chance to pick up his first down, but he waited too long. And, nope. Looking to kill it deep. It's a tail dragger, though, and it'll go right into the end zone. Darnell Oakley and Matt Hartle in the backfield, and here comes Oakley. And boy, I tell you, he had a head of steam. Second down and one. Here he goes again. To the 40-yard line and a first down. Autry's carried the ball 11 times here in the first quarter already for 44 yards. He went for 171 against the Nittany Lions over at Happy Valley last year. 7-0. Wildcats. Second down and five from the 45. They're going to call him an encroachment. Linesman is going to, they were in the neutral zone. The Northwestern likes to play. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Replay, second down. Adrian Autry is now the single back for Northwestern. On second down and just inches, Schnurr keeps it. Just hunkers down behind Rob Johnson. Schnurr back, throw, setting up a wide receiver screen for Dwayne Bates. And Bates will move the ball down to the 44. They're not very good. Uh, in fact, passing 88th. Total offense is 82nd. They're very conservative by nature. This is down the pipe, and it is just a bit too high. Two teams have punted the ball more than Northwestern has. Third down, about four and a half. This is Darnell Autry. Tiptoe into the 40. Very high. May work out. They catch it. Inside the 10. Milne is in there at fullback right now, number 22. Pitts has got the ball, looks for daylight, finds a little bit. And you let Steven get those wheels turning. Ready Scott in motion for the Lions. Back to Pitts. Hit in the backfield by number 51, Pat Fitzgerald. Third down and three for Penn State. Here goes Pitts. Can't get around the corner. They stuck it up. It's Fitzgerald one more time. And now it depends on the roll, and it definitely takes a Penn State count. That puts Adrian Autry in motion. He's got a big return all the way back down to the 33-yard line. It's Brian Musso. And the pass completed to Brian Musso for a Northwestern first down at the Penn State 14-yard line. Schnurr on third down says, just give me an opportunity. I can throw more than we've been throwing this year. We just haven't needed it. Musso comes across. Big third down conversion. Here in the first half of play, they're down by seven, and the Wildcats are knocking on the door. And this is Autry. And Darnell Autry will go to the 10 yard line. This is his fourth year, so he has four groups of uh, recruiting classes here to work with. Autry gets inside, touchdown, Northwestern. Great run by Autry. Great patience by a young sophomore. And that is a new Northwestern single season record. The kick by going the good. Watch the blocking over here now. That's Nelson 44. Herring number three misses a block. Of course, Autry helped him miss it. Just outstanding runner. Great timing. He said, uh, if they go to a ball game wherever they go, he says, I'm going. And from the one-yard line, Chris Everly to the Penn State 22. Not much offense so far in the ball game for Penn State. Mike Archie is the tailback. Brady Scott in motion. Richardson going to throw it. Let's it go for Bobby Ingram, and Ingram coming across has it intercepted by Chris Martin, and Chris Martin brings it back down the sideline. And it's finally shoved out of bounds. Uh, Old Mo is for sure wearing black and purple right now. 
But the Penn State defense rises up, gets some penetration. It's like a spider. They come in, they want you to come into their web, and they're going to make you play their brand of ball. Second down and 15. The Schnur has all day. Now runs out of time, but completes the pass, and there's a penalty flag. Yeah. Ineligible, Ineligible man, man downfield. Down well, he's he's exciting. He was fun to watch, and we wish him all the best. Well spoken. 49-yard line, Snurr's pass thrown to the sidelines to Bates, and it's complete down at the 30-yard line. Third down and two. They give it to Autry, and he's going to have his first down. He went over the right side behind Jennison. From the 27-yard line on first down, some pursuit of Schnurr, but he's got his fullback wide open, and he's taken down. He'll have about a yard gain on the play. 14 to nothing. Northwestern is leading Penn State, and they're close enough to be called threatening again. But this time, Darnell Autry runs into some Lions. And settled in there with Beasley and Bates, the wide people. He's looking at Bates, and he throws for Bates, and the ball is hit at the line of scrimmage or so. so Brian Goins is in the ball game the redshirt freshman from Birmingham Alabama his long is 49 yards the first one he kicked in varsity competition 49 he got it up he's got enough leg and he tried to hook it back in and he missed it from 44 yards first down at the 27 yard line of Penn State Northwestern is leading 14 to nothing and this is Mike Archie for a couple of yards up near the 30. There have been years when the Spartans have messed up things for the Wolverines. Richardson's pass is completed out of the backfield to Milne. Third down and six. The Lions at the 31-yard line. Northwestern controlling the ball game. Richardson's pass is completed down the middle to Freddie Scott. And Freddie is at midfield. And it's not an easy defense to move down the field on. 315 to play in the first half. 14 to nothing, Northwestern. A little bit of a delay. Hands the ball off to the tailback, Stephen Pitts. Second down, eight. Ball is on the Northwestern, 48. Richardson looks at Scott and throws complete. And they'll give him to the 41. Yard short of the first down. Third down and one. Look at that. Look how they clock up the middle. They just put all the beef right up there and said, come on. They got it. As Stephen Pitts picks up a first down all the way to the 37-yard line. About a minute and a half to do it. They'll take any kind of a score. Richardson looking around. Goes underneath to the tight end Olsomer. From the, uh, the line. 123 to go in the first half. Lions have three timeouts remaining. Sideline goes to Freddie Scott. He's taken down. And uh, he did not get the first down. On the northwestern side of the field, the ball is at about the 27 and a half. And up the middle goes big old Brian Milne. Down to the 10, down to the 8-yard line. First and goal for Penn State. He's going to block for him. Out of the hurry up offense. And they right. spike it. Yeah, good call. Uh -huh. It'll be second down and goal from the eight. Up the middle, Mike Archie gets to the five. And then just inside the five. Now you got to spend the time out. But the key thing here is they've got two players. That's all. This reach pass, and it is. Richardson throws it. Touchdown. Ultimate. Ready? This one, if he makes it, will be 74, and it's good. The kick is good. The score. And so, as we get to 48 seconds remaining in the half, Penn State's going to go to the clubhouse. Like 1960. Not an easy place to play if for a visitor. It's a high-hanging kick at the five-yard line. Adrian Autry. Whoa. That's a pretty good lick there, folks. Remember, Northwestern lost the game to Miami of Ohio. Second game of the season. This is Darnell Autry. Darnell Autry, the Up to the 30. Clock ticking away, and they're going to let it run down. Both teams are headed for the clubhouse. At halftime, it is Northwestern 14. 
and Penn State seven. your Northwestern and you've only been to one bowl in your entire history they're pretty excited about the situation all right the Nittany Lions will have the ball first here to start the second half of play this is Chris Everly handling it and the Wildcats handle him in the middle of the field all right Fitzgerald had a big first half Stephen Pitts and John Whitman in the backfield it's Pitts with the ball and he gets it out to a crow second down and call it seven for Penn State. Richardson hands the ball inside. It's going to be pitch carrying. They got the first down on the last play, and now you have the two fullbacks in there. Give it a Whitman. Whitman uh, slams it up the middle. And maybe Joe Paterno has made a decision. We have not seen Kurt Enos at all today, the big freshman tailback. Archie? No, it's not. It's Whitman. And Whitman slashing. The fullbacks on the Penn State rushing game so far have been good for 57 yards against 29 for the tailbacks. It's first down at the 43. Now Richardson throws to Ingram and he underthrows him and throws it out of bounds. Second down and 10. Whitman in motion. And there's a mix up in the backfield. Richardson and Pitts ran together and Matt Rice third down and 15 now for the net in line after the mistake. They bury it. Absolutely bury it. There though, he yeah. didn't get out of the way at all. Here's the punt by Kenya. And it takes a Penn State oh, no. bounce and keeps on rolling, and the Nittany Lions will. Uh, did it touch a Penn? Did it touched a Wildcat? And Penn State gets recovery of the football down at about the 22-yard line. First down for Penn State. That's your biggest offensive play of the game. That's Brian Milne. He's a hammer. But he hasn't played. Cold. They give it to him. That's what he can do for you. He can move the chain. And Mike Archie is in the backfield now with John Whitman. And Freddie Scott brings it across in motion. Give it to Archie. And Archie will work his way. Second down and six from the seven. Whitman. Behind the line of scrimmage. Stephen Pitts goes in motion. And Richardson rolls. Nobody to throw the ball to. Brett Conway checks in. They put it down at the 14. 24 yard field goal is good. And at 8.32 to play in the third quarter, it is now Northwestern 14 and Penn State 10. Penn State, they kept them out of the end zone. Here's a high hanger. And it's Adrian Autry picking it off at the six. And a good return. Penn State shows them a four-man front, not five, as they slip a backer in there and show some blitz intent. Give it to Darnell Autry, and Autry tiptoes out of bounds after about three yards. Second down, call it six. And give Autry four yards on that last carry. Snurback throws, has his man to pull back, and Matt Harder can't hang on to it. Third and long, back goes Snur. Pressure coming, gets it off, goes back. Well, they don't normally do this. Third in possession, they usually try to pick up the first down. The ball goes right through his hands. Son of Ron Burton, All American, 1959. And he gets an end over ender that bounds down the field and finally goes out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. The division leading Dallas Cowboys against Rodney Peet and the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a fine Eastern 8 Central here on ABC. This is Stephen Pitts. Out across the 30-yard line. And uh, eventually, in the history of starters in the 
National Football League. Give the ball to Brian Mill, the fullback. And they finally wrestle him down right about the line of scrimmage. Well, they're going to throw it. They got it for the first down to Bobby Ingram. It's been rewrapped and he's back in there. This will be, this is his second appearance. And if he gets the ball, his second carry. Last time he picked up the first down for him, but he gets no more than a yard on this carry. Second down and nine, 14 to 10. Northwestern leads Penn State, 535 to go in the third quarter. Richardson's pass. Did he get it? I couldn't tell. In the first and 10, Penn State is the Northwestern 48 yard line. Looked to me like a good catch. Yep. Yeah. The ball's going to go down. Whitman, the fullback. Two yards on the play. They're going to the airport's left. Yep. This is Stephen Pitts. Got a little crack. But coming up out of the secondary is. Well, Richardson got just enough off that pass to his tight end. It's good. 38 yard line. Pitts is taken down on a solid lick by Pat Fitzgerald. He's about as active as we've seen this year at the linebacker position. He's got 16 tackles in this game. Wally Richardson's pass again is underthrown, and Mike Archie has to go away. Look out. Got to have the Whitman. He got away. John Whitman with that spin. First down out of the Nittany Lions at the 28 of Northwestern, and Curtis Enos is your tailback. 137 to go in the third quarter. It's Enos, and he moves it to the 25. You're not going to bleed the time of possession. Less than a half a minute for Northwestern in the third quarter. That's down the middle for Ingram, and he hauled it in. It'll be first and goal at about the seven yard line. First and goal. Enos to the five. Penalty flag. Look out. Holding. Holding Penn State. Twelve yard penalty moves the ball back to about the 20. Just inside of the 20. First down, Richardson. They run right over it. Is Maley got him. And the quarter is over. That's and we'll the be back for the final period after this message of the word from our ABC station. Twenty-six plays to three. Richardson on second and twenty-seven. Throws complete at the ten-yard line to Bobby Ingram. And he's down there. Zura Vicious is in the lineup. Bigger target, taller man. Richardson has completed seven straight. They go for the fade. There it is. Scott beyond the end zone. All thrown beyond the field of play. He's number 20, Brett Conway. Scott will hold. Brett Conway has hit one from 24. This is 27. Controlled the ball the whole third quarter and scored no points. Let's go back and take a look at this field goal. It's awfully close. That was right from behind. Here's a look from the end zone camera high in the end zone. There is an official under each upright and the official on the left side. Mm. You know, I. But it's no good. The ball belongs to Northwestern at the 20s, so our speculation is. Autry again. To the 25. Third down conversions today. They're five of nine, and they're looking at third and five right now. Nurse pass. Incomplete. Going to call interference. At the reception, really can't tell from that. 
impacts. If anything, I would say there was no interference. First and ten for Northwestern at the 39. Schnur, Bates, good. And Bates will pick up the first down. 14 to 10. Northwestern continuing their odyssey. Another penalty flag, this time from the referee. Been many people sitting down there in front of that scoreboard. Yep. Got a re double reverse going here with Dave Beasley carrying the ball and picking up a first down for Northwestern at the first down at the Penn State 35 and Penn State's in the neutral zone offside. They got a free play. Darnell Autry runs for 12 yards and first down. Darnell Autry has 26 carries for 97 yards, but there's more to his story. I'll tell you the one. Schnurr getting pressure, gets his pass away. The pass complete to the tight end, Graham, and Graham gets back to the line of scrimmage. Broke his own mark. It's kind of dark down here in this end of the end zone, isn't it? Yep, looks like right. the field. Now these are portable lights. This is Autry. Just short. He has 120 today. He has two touchdowns already, and he may have three here, but he won't get it on this play because his fullback had moved forward. Offside, however, is called against Penn State. So the fullback did not get the flag. The touchdown stands. Humphrey has three on the day. And the Wildcats have jumped it. <laughs> That's it. They wrestled with a snap and finally got it down. Paul Burton had to reach for the handle, but he got it down, and the kick is good by Gowan. This will be a big step right here. They can win this game. When you haven't been there, that's about the 11-yard line for Stephen Pitts. And so here comes Penn State now with only 10. 56 to play in the ball game and Wally Richardson under siege is going nowhere. They suck him. He has been a tremendous defensive performer today. Nothing there for Curtis Enos. That's where it turned. The holding penalty, then the sack, then the missed field goal. Yep. All of it added up. Look, they will. Richardson got away from one man. Here comes Martin. He didn't get away from him. Oh, I tell you, the punt from Daryl Kenya, his fifth of the day. Low line drive. Spinner got a little room. And down he goes at about the 46. The folks around Northwestern have themselves involved in a pretty exciting adventure in this 1995 college football season. At Tipped up in the air. First down, Penn State. Richardson back. Let's it go down the middle to Mike Archie. Take some punishment as he's hit as he released the ball. Richardson throws again. Short, and the ball comes out. The pass was intended for Brian Mill, out of the backfield. In the noggin from behind. On third and ten, Wally Richardson is sacked five times. They've taken him down. It's Pat Fitzgerald Kenya. Brian Musso gets it out to the 30 31. They're a bunch of tough nuts. Andrew Linden, the defensive coordinator. And Darnell Autry, a kid from Tempe, Arizona, picks up four more yards. They will put him back into the ball game. Right now, he's got ice pack on it, Keith. Thank you, sir. 
Autry one more time. Averaging 150 yards a game, 4.2 yards. He doesn't get a lot of yards per carry, but he carries it a lot. Well, there's a loss of a yard there. Well, he took a little extra step or two there to get away from some of the traffic. Takes a bounce and goes right to Archie. And the Wildcats just whoop Haifa is melee. Back on the field after being poked in the eye. And this is Stephen Pitts running for a first down for the Nittany Lions. Well, the last two possessions, they've had three and four plays in the route. That's Pitts kind of running along on two feet and one arm. Northwestern, can they can they beat these three teams in a year? Richardson's pass is thrown high and hard. One game that they lost, Miami of Ohio, they were ahead 28 to 7, and only because of a bad punt snap led to the final touchdown that they didn't beat on that one. That pass is through the arms of John Whitman, Greg Brandon, the wide receiver. John Riston, the running back. Those are names you should remember. That pass bounces in front of the intended receiver. And the chemistry and the family and the belief of Northwestern this year has been special. Richardson throws the pass and completes it behind the line of scrimmage. Then Ohio State will go to the Rose Bowl because of a better overall record because they don't play each other. Should they lose one, though? If Ohio State okay. loses one, yeah. they know what confidence is, and they're playing their style of football. Adrian Autry now is the tailback. That's fresh legs. And he's got a first down at the Penn State 22. Oh, first down just inside the Penn State 23-yard line. Darnell Autry is back in the game as the single back and has the ball. Is still searching around for yardage and moves it to the 19. And a lot of times when they're not allowed to have any fun. This is Autry. Out of bounds. Here Northwestern. So is Chuck Heston. Yes, sir. Didn't need him. Saved the road. Autry carries it for four. They're going. They need about a foot. He was so homesick that he wanted to quit, and he wanted to quit twice, two different times. His father finally convinced him. And Arizona State is the team that pulled off that big upset last week. They don't have to step it. Here comes the crowd. Now, can they keep the crowd off the field, or are they even going to try? Lynn Swan racing over to get a hold of Gary Barnett and try to talk to him. Joe Paterno meeting with Barnett in the center of the field. And they come storming down out of the stadium to help join in the celebration. And they are climbing the goalpost, honey. I told you they would. The final score, 21-10, and here's Lynn Swan with Gary Barnett.